You may have noticed an increase in your grocery bill in the last month. Nationwide, the price for groceries is up. But there's a way around the bigger bills as KMUA's Matt McKay joins us from the newsroom with how you can cut those costs down, Matt. Well, after a year of economic recovery, Americans are spending more money, but it's challenging to keep up with the demand. An extra dollar or two for your favorite food is how major supermarkets keep food on the shelves. But at the local level, food costs are more stable. Farmers are preparing for another busy harvest. The weather's hurt us a lot worse than COVID did last year. Last year, the pandemic caused supply issues for major supermarkets. I think it somewhat did help uh, American agriculture and people knowing that they could go to local producers. But local food producers and vendors are gaining a better foothold with greater control over their prices. We can tell our consumers that everything is grown here in Missouri and it's a wholesome uh, food product. When your costs go up, it's usually because of a middleman. Uh, a lot of our packers are actually the ones that are that are getting that money. Well, the majority of the price that they pay uh, in the grocery store is all middleman. Keeping food local will also keep dollars in your wallet. Thomas says that means the farmer's market instead of the big box stores. Folks out west, you know, you're talking about uh, their lettuce has 2,500 miles on it before it gets to the grocery store. Uh, mine has 60. But as inflation goes up, it gets more costly to pay for a global food supply system. The more consumers ask for it in the big stores, uh, the more they'll get it. National price increases are now a chance for local producers to gain new attention. And one of the farmers I spoke with said in some cases, farmers can receive as little as two cents for every dollar spent at the grocery store. But he said when consumers buy direct or in the local community, it can cost, le it can cost less and farmers can make a better living. In the newsroom, I'm Matt McCabe, Camulate News.